Hey everybody, it's Friday, time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys are ready, I hope you've had a great week. I hope if you're at work, you're almost done. And hello to everybody who watches on the weekends. I know a lot of you save it and watch on the weekends, so hello. Um, I'm excited about today's projects. We're using new dies that go with the Someone Special stamp set. Hi, Vicki. Um, the Special Someone stamp set is in the spring catalog. Well, that's what I call it, the spring catalog. It's really the January to June 2020 catalog. Um, hi, Susan. Hi, Stacy. So that, you know, the little raccoon stamp set, that's what everybody knows it as. Um, we're gonna be using that today. So I've got three cards. I've kind of shown you guys some sneak peeks of them in previous um, Facebook Fridays. Hi, everybody. It's so good to see you. Okay, I am distracted by comments, easily distracted. Let's see, I'm gonna share this real quick if I can, and then I've got something to show you. I see my my lovely assistant Denise is here. Um, Denise helped me this week get together. Let's see, make sure I'm doing this in the right place, blah, 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 post, okay. Um, Denise helped me get together this week all of my extra Facebook Friday projects. Um, I told you guys, was it last week, that I have all these extra projects. Um, when I cut the make and takes for Facebook Friday, I always cut one or two extra, just in case um, if one gets lost in the mail, then I have another to send. So for about two or three years now, <laughs> these have been piling up, right? Lots and lots and lots of projects, and I didn't know what to do with them. So I asked you guys last week if you'd be interested, and I've got them right here, I'm gonna show you. Um, Denise bunched them, grouped them together, and I'm gonna list them tonight. I'm gonna put them up there for you guys if you wanna buy one or two packs. Um, we have put them together in bundles of nine, is that right, Denise? No, 12. We did bundles of 12. I'll figure it out before I post it, I can't even remember. But um, you'll get all a mix of projects um, you might get one Christmas, you might get one from last year, you might get one from September. They'll all be mixed in and they'll have the label on them so you'll know um, where you, which one you got so you can go back. It'll say that it'll either have a link on there or it'll have a date so you can go back to my blog and find it um, to do your projects. All right, and it's just gonna be, I guess I could show you. Look, I put it way up so hopefully you guys can see it. No, not really, maybe if I put it back here. <laughs> Look at this big box. Um, I'm not gonna, you can't request certain projects because we've already bagged them, see? And uh, they'll just be kind of like a grab bag, like a, like you don't know what you're getting, but you're gonna get 12 amazing projects. That's, it was 12, right, Denise? You get, yeah, 12, and they're gonna be $35 free shipping. 12 projects, free shipping. Four Facebook Friday sets. Thank you, Denise. So you'll get four weeks worth of projects. Pretty cool, right? Um, most of the things in here are done for you, like scoring, punching, die cutting. You obviously need the stamps and ink. If I, if that week's theme was a bundle and it used, um, like today, um, it uses the someone special stamp set and the special day dies, you'll need those two things to make your projects. So be looking for that tonight. I'm gonna to send out an email on my email list and then I'll come over and post it on Facebook. Um, I think I have about, I counted them now, I can't remember how many, Denise, like 35 packs or something um, to get rid of. That sounds too convenient because I don't know, I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. So, but if you really want them, be looking for this tonight in your inbox, okay? Um, Denise says, yeah, links included, 29. Okay, we had 29 packages to sell. Um, and I'm gonna ship them to you for free, just like I do every week, all right? So make sure you're on my email list. I will add that to the description here when we're done. Um, but you have to sign up for that email list before about six o'clock tonight because if you sign up at seven o'clock and I've already sent the email, then you won't get the email. <laughs> so make sure you do that early. You can also go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down a little bit on the right. Uh, Gina, scroll, go pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down on the right side, and there's different buttons there. One says newsletter. Click on that and sign up. And I think that it sends you, does it send you a confirmation? I can't remember. I can't remember if you have to opt in. I don't think you have to opt in, but anyway. All right, all right, so after tonight, after I 
get my kids, get my family fed, all of that, I will get them listed for you, okay? And then I will mail them next week. All right. Hello to everybody who's joining us. I'm so glad you're here. Um, let's see, should I flip the camera? I think I need to flip the camera. I think everything else is just for me to show you. Yeah, and um, let's not have any crazy camera things happen today, please. Fingers crossed. Last week, twice, not once, but twice, two different Facebook Lives, my camera flew off the handle and scared the bejesus out of me and probably was super weird for you guys. I have, you know the problem is that I have a pop socket on the back of my phone. Do you guys have pop sockets on your phone? I really like a pop socket on my phone. It's kind of like a little handle for your phone. And in my car, my phone holder, it's a pop socket. Like I have to hook the pop socket into it. So I can't take the pop socket off, but the pop socket gets in the way of both of my phone holders for this. So what do you do? I don't know. All right. This week we're going to do this. I'm going to save this. I'm going to move this out of the way. Let me tell you about the All Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, if you were on my blog yesterday or earlier today, you saw that we're doing a blog hop. I have the amazing luxury of teaming up with 11 other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And every month we all type up an exclusive tutorial and Kylie and Bruno, they bundle them all together into one big PDF. And then we each use them in our business. So uh, you can get it several ways. Let me just show you, it's 77 pages. Um, we have decided this round, February is a brand new round of tutorials, um, and we've decided this round to focus on one suite of products each time. So this time, it's the Peaceful Poppy suite. So all 12 tutorials are Peaceful Poppy projects. Um, there's a mix of cards and 3D. This is mine, I'll show you in a second. Um, you can get this several ways, and I'm just thinking as I'm telling you this, I'm a little bit behind on emailing these out. I give these out for free to anybody who spends $50 with me um, on it with a Stampin' Up! order. So if you spend $50 once a week, I go through my orders and I email, email this out to everybody who has spent $50 or more. The second way you can get it, if you don't order from me, maybe you have a demonstrator already or you are a demonstrator, but you would really like 12 Peaceful Poppy tutorials, you can buy it in my PDF store for $15. The third way to get it is to be a subscriber. And a su subscription gets the, I'm stumbling over my words, you know, like a magazine subscription, it comes to your inbox automatically every month on the first. You can either pay monthly or you can pay all in one lump sum. And when you do that, you actually get one month free. You get the, the fifth month for free. So it's $60 for five months. Um, and either, either way you choose to subscribe, you'll get that fifth month for free. The fourth way to get it is to join my team, the Sweet Stampede. They get all my PDFs for free every month. Every um, email I send my team has a link to all that all of that month's PDFs. My goodness, <laughs> words are hard. Um, so lots of different options, all right? Here's my project this month. I'm not supposed to show it to you. Oops, I showed it to you. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's, a, it's a huge, big PDF. I ran out of ink this week and had to wait to print it out, and it just came yesterday because I really wanted to show you how amazing it is. Um, that link will be here in the video. Um, if you want it, and I'm going to set that on my computer so that I remember this afternoon to email all of you who ordered this week. Email your PDF. Also, over there, if you go to pinkbuckroo.com, today's post, on this PDF, there's a link right there, and there's a link at the bottom of the post. You should be able to find it, no problem. Speaking of my Sweet Stampede team, I have to tell you every week about the amazing starter kit deal. You guys know I can't. I cannot hide it, I have to tell you. It's an amazing deal. Um, $99, you pick out $125 of product of your choice. Anything that you want from either the annual catalog, the spring catalog, or the clearance rack. Um, I made up kind of a sample starter kit. I've been changing it from week to week so you guys can see what all you get. Um, 
So you're already getting $25 in free product. You're getting free shipping. During celebration, you also get this adorable little baby trimmer for free. You get a paper sampler pack and you get an additional stamp set for free. And you know, hello, pick the most expensive one. You do it, it's free. All right, so that gets added in. This can be up over $200 value. I mean, that's a big value. But anyways, this is the little kit I made this week. The birthday bonanza paper, whisper white, the little treat bags, the bundle, some blends, some ink, some ribbon, some rhinestones, pillow boxes, and my favorite punch, my favorite new punch. All of that, plus this, plus this, plus this, $99 free shipping. So if you are placing a big order, think about it because you're really saving yourself money. And then after that, you get a discount on all your orders. You get, you save 20% or you make 20% off orders from other people. So it's a no brainer in my mind. <laughs> okay, let's do prizes. Thank you. I see all of you saying that you shared, lots of you. Thank you very much. Last week, um, I said I had music from the heart, two of them to give out. So I picked two random sharers from last week and Suzanne Hinton and Debbie Schultz. Congratulations, you are my random winners. Um, I have both of your addresses, so no need to message me. I will get them out for you either tomorrow or Monday. Congratulations, ladies, and thank you so much for sharing my video. I do greatly appreciate it. This week, I've got the So Sentimental stamp set, which I am loving right now. I'm using this one a lot. So if you would like to win this, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook, okay? All right, I saw a question. Let's see, Crystal said, Eric, I saw a little sneak peek of something you made with the makeup wipes and now I can't find it. Oh yeah, that was on Instagram on my stories, Crystal. Are you gonna share that at some point or will it be a tutorial we can purchase? Crystal, that's a project for my retreat that's coming up in two weeks. It will be available in a PDF. I'm also gonna be offering my retreat projects as a class to go. Um, we offered the retreat in a box, basically all that stuff, amazing, all the pillow gifts and stuff, um, but I, think in March, I'm just going to offer the projects as well as a class to go. All right. Thanks for asking. Yeah. You guys hop over to Instagram. I have been really remembering to, to, to Instagram my, my stories and put pictures of my stories and stuff on Instagram. It's been fun. Um, I can share more there. I feel like then, you know, just quick little snaps. So anyways, make sure you find me over there. Um, remember the honeybee class to go. You guys, this paper's on back order. Today I saw it's on back order. But lucky for you, I have a ton of it. All right, I have a ton of it. Um, so no worries there if you're gonna get the class to go. Um, the deadline is February 24th. You've got a, a little while. Um, several options, all six projects plus the bundle. You get the ribbon for free and the paper, of course. Um, without the bundle, you get all six projects and the ribbon and the paper, PDF only, and then my downline sweet stampede kit, okay? So again, go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. The link is at the bottom. You have to email me and say, please send me the honeybee class registration because per stamping up policy, I'm not allowed to list that link directly, okay? So just send me an email and I'll send it to you. All right, we are, my desk is cleared. I think I think I told you everything. Let's see, is this, this is pretty pretty close, right? Um, Uh-oh, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna really mess it up. Let's see, I'm gonna get it down a little bit further. Um, so like I said, this week, we're doing the special someone stamp set. This is in the spring catalog. Um, it's super cute, but it, of course, with dyes, it's just gonna make it even cuter. And I'm gonna show you, this die, which looks weird, is really clever. Um, and this die is really clever, I love it. Um, so we're gonna do that today. This is an out of publication product, which means it's not in any catalog, it's only online. You can find it online. Um, they are called the coordination products and um, you'll be able to find them as soon as you click on the Stampin' Up! store, you'll find them, okay? We're gonna make three cards. I'm doing all cards today for my card makers and um, you want to go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and get the PDF. It's under the last photo. It has all the products that I've used as well as any measurements that you need. And then all the announcements over here, all the things that I told you. Then also 
you have the opportunity to get the three make and takes for free. Just like I was showing you that big box, you can get these for free this week. Um, the way to get them is to put in an online order by Monday at midnight, see right here? All orders over $35 by Monday at midnight using this host code, we'll get these for free next week in the mail. And I have kind of some examples to show you. They go, they come like this. I do a lot of the work for you. See, scoring, sometimes I even tie bows. All right, so I promise I'm not just making it up. I really do send them to you for free. All right, as a thank you. So, but, but it has to be, your order has to be in Monday mid by midnight. You have to use the host code unless your order is over $150. Then you get stamp and rewards. You guys know what stamp and rewards are, right? Let me just show you real quick, just in case. Because every time I show this, there's somebody out there that said, I had no idea. Stamp and rewards in the back of your catalog, page 73, right here. And it says just for hosts. But guess what? If your order is over $150, you're then basically a host. Okay, and you qualify for, you know, however much, if you spend $150, you get 10% of that, which is $15 to spend. And you can also buy these with your stamp and rewards. So my point being, if you put in an order by Monday at midnight, that's over $150, don't use the host code because you get more free stuff and I will still send you the projects for free. Okay, okay, we're ready, we are ready. Oh, I'm a little bit hot. I had the, the little heater on this morning and now I need the fan. Let's see, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. If it starts to make that camera roll, you guys tell me, okay? All right, let's see, did I miss anything? Um, just wanna make sure I'm looking through your comments real quick. Okay, yes, I love the fish too, Marilyn. That stamp set's so cute. Super thirsty. All right, let's make this cute card. So this was the first card I made as soon as I got these special days dies. Let's look at them. I already showed you them, but here they are. And I loved the balloon. The balloon, these cut out the balloon strings. Brilliant. How many of you have tried to put a balloon on a card with twine on the back and then you try to tape it to that and tape it? It's hard. Well, now they've made a little die for it, which is super easy. And I'm very excited about it. <laughs> okay, let's do our raccoon and our mouse first. And I'm gonna tell you, honestly, I can't remember exactly <laughs> what inks I used when I made this card. So we're just gonna go with what I think I used. Now this is two-step stamping. So I highly recommend that you use their Stamparatus. Stamparatus, if you don't know, is a stamp positioning tool. It's gonna help you get your stamps lined up perfectly. Um, I'm gonna put this little piece of Whisper White up here in the corner, right there, so in case it moves, I know if I just push it up in the corner, it's exactly where it needs to be. But I'm also gonna put my magnets on there and that's hopefully gonna keep it stuck. All right, so let's get our raccoon. We're gonna start with the outline raccoon right here. All right, lay it down where you want it, pick it up with your plate, and um, where's my card? Yeah, I think I did use black. I did clean recordings of two of these that you'll see on YouTube this evening, um, and I think I used basic gray in my clean recording. All right, so now we're gonna stamp it. he is super cute let's you know what I'm gonna leave him because we're gonna use him again in a little while let me get my other plate okay and I guess I could have just turned that plate over you know what let's do that because we're gonna need to do the little mouse too so you can take your plates off and then you switch them around like that and you can use both sides now here's the coloring the solid part of a raccoon I'm gonna set that on there cannot really see it very well because the camera but hopefully I have it in the right place and you pick it up okay your paper has stayed in the right spot and I'm gonna get my that looks like yeah I think smoky slate <laughs> we will see smoky slate and I'm gonna stamp him and oh perfect ta-da 
I love the Stamparatus. All right, now I'm gonna turn my paper around and do the mouse. Now the mouse is the one that I really don't know what color inks I used. You know, it could be whatever you want. It could be brown, a brown mouse, it could be a black mouse, a gray mouse. All right, let's put the little mouse there, pick him up. Let's do black, memento. Come back over, stamp him, turn him around, and we'll do, you know what? Mm, we're gonna do something different here. Let's do, oh, I haven't even put it on there, hello. We're gonna do basic gray, but we're gonna do stamping off on basic gray, okay? Just just hang with me, you'll see what I'm talking about. And I cannot see because of the glare. I, oh, no, that's totally not right. All right, little mouse, there we go. I don't like mice at all, but I will stamp them. Okay, so there's the solid, and I'm gonna ink it in basic gray, but then, before I stamp it on the mouse, I'm gonna stamp off to get a little bit of that ink off. Push it down, and there he is. I didn't want him the exact same color as the raccoon. All right, so there we go, we've got that. We'll move that over here, because we are gonna use those later. And now let's do our little balloons. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to feed everything in at the same time. I'm not reading y'all's comments, I'm sorry. The raccoon is very cute, I know. Um, my mom, I don't know if my mom is on here, she hates raccoons <laughs> because they um, destroy her bird feeders. So, you know, it's kind of a joke in our house how much she hates them. And my husband calls them trash pandas. I don't know where he came up with that, but he thinks it's funny and he says it every time. Okay, we're gonna do, let's do Flirty Flamingo on Flirty Flamingo. And then I'm gonna clean it on my chamois. And let's close this. And then let's do Highland Heather with the, the round balloon. They can be a bit troublesome. They're cute, but they're, yeah, you know, they're trouble. Trouble, trouble. All right, now, Melon Mambo. Whoops. You guys, super weird. My Melon Mambo, see how this came? All of my ink pads are like this, and my little thing is here, like this. But for some reason, I think the sticker was put on wrong on my Melon Mambo, this part, because I have to turn it this way to open it. And let me, it drives me crazy in my stamp holder. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just a fluke that it came like that. But, so see how it should, they're both like that, but the stickers on the front are wrong. Hmm. Ink pad still works, it's fine. Okay, let's see what how much we can get layered up on my die cut machine. You know what, let's do the little critters first and one of the balloons. I know we can't get all of this on here at one time. Okay, so raccoon right here. Now I have my magnetic platform on here, which if you have a magnetic platform, you know that it's totally awesome, love it, but they wiggle. The magnets, I, what I have been told is that the magnet, see that guy, he won't stay. The magnets kind of flip around on the inside the older it is, and mine do get thrown around a lot. Um, and then, you know, the mat, the little framelits, the dies, as we call them now, they uh, will move to wherever the magnet is pulling it. So, I always say, let the magnet be the boss and just move your paper to where it wants to go, and then it will hold firm. Okay, all right, so we've got a raccoon, we've got a mouse, we've got a balloon. Do, do, do. A lot of die cutting today, guys, a lot of die cutting. All right, now let's start with the bigger pieces. Here is the, <laughs> am I the only one that thinks that's just really clever, this, this die um, for the balloon strings? I think it's just super clever. All right, now this is a two by four and a fourth piece of um, old olive, and I'm gonna put my grass edge right there on it, okay? And then I'm gonna 
do that balloon and the heart balloon. This little heart here looks like a candy heart to me. I think that it would be cute on a little, like a Valentine card. It's cute. It looks very 3D-ish. Okay. Hold your breath. <laughs> there we go. And we've got a purple balloon. We've got a heart balloon. And we've got balloon strings. And we've got grass. Now we need one more layer of grass. This is... Marilyn, you like it too? Okay, good. I just, I love it. This is a one by four and a fourth piece of, piece of old olive. And before, I think I had my die like that. This time I'm going to move it down a little bit just so that my two little grass pieces aren't identical. I want them to be a little bit different. Okay. And now we're done. All right, let me get all of this out of here. Let's make sure I put all my dies back. Okay, let's put our card together. We're gonna use a, come on, balmy, oops, I didn't get my adhesive. My balmy blue card base. And all it is is a piece of cardstock cut in half right here on the short side and then folded in half or scored at five and a half. All right, let's start down here with our big grass, right there. And I need to straighten my card up a little bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna take dimensionals. Hey, Ginger. Yeah, it is a lot of die cutting. It's cute. Shannon, I probably wouldn't make 50 of these cards because there's so much die cutting. <laughs> this is probably a just a few, but it would be a cute kid's birthday card, wouldn't it? All right, put that there. Now I'm not going all the way to the bottom because I'm gonna take this little piece of DSP. This is from the Bright, no, no, the Regal stack of paper, of designer series paper. And it's, oops, is it crooked? I can't see, hold on, let me pull it down so I can see. Um, Old Olive Gingham. Gosh, why can't I get that straight? There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take my two little critters and we're gonna stick some dimensionals on them. Very cute. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom <laughs> for her birthday. Put those down there. All right, now I'm gonna take my balloons and I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of them towards the bottom. You'll see why in a sec. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take the strings and I'm gonna lay one, make sure it's forward. I'm gonna put that one in the middle. I'm gonna grab that one like that, but I want the balloon in front. See what I'm doing? I'm just picking this up. Let's see, I wanted that one a little bit lower. See how I just picked them up with the dimensionals like that, okay? And look, uh-oh. Uh oh, that one's crooked. Hold on. Hold, please. Let's see. There we go. How cute. So cute. Okay. Sorry. I think it's very cute. I'm just going to put a little dot of glue right there on his arms, his hands, like he's holding them. And they will stick because we already have the dimensionals on there. Easy peasy. At least I think it is. Okay, now let's add some butterflies and then we're gonna add some clouds. So a few butterflies in balmy blue. On my original card, I tried some in full strength and some stamped off and I didn't like that. So now they're all in full strength. And then we're gonna get the happy birthday. We're gonna bring back that black. Okay, and put that right there. And you could leave it like that, or you could cut out some clouts. These are from the Wiggle Worms. No, is that what they're called? The Wiggle, well, I should look at my list. 
it was wiggly bugs wiggly bugs dies okay so i cut two of those and then do you notice i cut one of those balloons in white that's going to be a cloud also i thought that was kind of a neat way to tie that in with the the little balloon all right so i'm going to put that there and then i'll take this one and overlap it just a little bit and then this one i'm going to have it hanging off just a bit and then turn it around and clip it and done no bow today guys no bow on this one anyway what do you think so cute i think it's a good kids birthday card i think kids will really like it on and i if you guys have kids and you're like my they're like mine we have a birthday party pretty much every weekend to go to and now i have three of them made i love to see them all together don't you one from original one from today and one from the clean recording all right good thanks for the hearts i'm glad you like it all right let's move this stuff but not too far because i think i might need some of those inks and let's do the next card the next card is hmm, i think i'll save the best one for last um the next card is actually a case i did for myself and if you don't know what case means it means copy and share everything so when you go on pinterest and you find somebody's card that you like and you copy it that's called casing and um it's not a bad thing so don't feel like this is bugging me it's crooked um so don't feel like you're cheating it's okay uh okay is it crooked do we have it <laughs> sorry guys I know I need to let it go it's really bothering me today okay I'm moving on sorry okay so I caught I cased myself um, a few years ago we had a hedgehog card you guys remember that it was called hedgehogs and I had a card very similar to this and had I think it was the little hedgehog in the middle so I decided to recreate it with our critters and so this could be kind of a masculine card right um, or not depends I mean, it could be a non-masculine card too but i think sometimes we have cards that is that are too feminine right um to send to a man um, but i think this one would do fine for a man all right so i'm going to do the same thing again um let's see i'm going to do the same colors with a raccoon i mean there's really not a lot of choices right with a raccoon i mean aren't they all black and gray or are there raccoons? I know I have some Australia friends over here. Do you guys have raccoons in Australia? Or do you have something similar? Um, I know there's that little bear thing that looks like a, a raccoon. Um, I can't think of what it's called. All right, so I don't have to worry about it because I have those on the plate from last time. Still perfect fit, right? And we'll turn it around and we'll do a mouse. You still have the hedgehog stamps, Nina. They're so cute. Uh, they're so cute. I did a whole class with those. Where are my ink pads? Right here. All right, we're gonna do the mouse this time in brown. We'll do him in brown. So we're gonna do, we're gonna start with soft suede. And I don't have to worry because he's still on my um, plate from the last time so it'll be a perfect match as long as I have my paper in the right place whoa I almost dropped it and crumb cake a little brown mouse he's cute one time when my kids my, my two younger ones were smaller we had a hamster is the hamster the one with the tail I can never remember it was one with a tail which I don't like they begged and begged save their money whatever we got a hamster well then um it got out and we didn't know it had gotten out and we're sitting downstairs and my middle child who is not dramatic in the least haha ha, her middle name should be drama um started screaming bloody murder i mean like someone is stabbing her to death that's what it sounds like my husband and i go tearing up the stairs and she's screaming that there's a mouse in her room, screaming there's a mouse. And we look and we see the hamster running across the edge of her room. It was her own pet hamster. Hello. And she thought it was a mouse and she was screaming. She was shaking, she was so scared. So we like to tease her about that quite a bit. 
And that he was cute like this little mouse. He, okay, I'm gonna get a post-it note for this one. He was cute. I don't remember his name. They don't last very long, those hamsters, especially when there's two schnauzers living in the house. Although, he died of natural causes. No schnauzer and <laughs> murders. Although we thought there was gonna be. Oh, yeah, those are stories you save, you know, for like when they're adults and you can embarrass them. I mean, we thought, we thought she was, she had accidentally cut her hand off or something. <laughs> By the way, she was screaming. Oh, she's very dramatic. Very. My other two aren't so dramatic, but she, I have three girls. Three very, very different girls. Okay. Early espresso card base. I cut it exactly the same as I did the balmy blue. And I'm using the Pressed Petals Designer Series paper. When I flip it over, you'll probably recognize it. it's from the annual catalog. It has a wood grain um, pattern. So that's what I'm going to use. Four by five and a fourth. And remember, all these measurements are over there on the PDF at pinkbuckaroo.com. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to just layer a bunch of things. I've done a lot of die cutting already. This is from the Be Mine Stitched Hearts. I love this heart. This like tall skinny heart. Again, pressed petals, designer series paper. I'm gonna put that there. Then I'm gonna take my early espresso. Look, I'm down to the edges of my dimensionals. Don't you hate that? But by golly, I will use them. I, I, I like them sometimes when I have something long and skinny, but oh well. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know what it's saying. Early espresso stitched circle, the largest one. I'm gonna layer that. Well, it looks like maybe this guy needs to be a little bit straighter and a little bit higher. And then we'll do this. All right, there we go. Now I've cut out some leaves because he lives in the forest, right? <laughs> We've got to have some leaves and I'm gonna do this one is from Mossy Meadow. These are from the seasonal layers dies. Um, in the annual catalog. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I have a hamster story like that too when I was a kid. You know, when you're in school, you can bring the class hamster home for Christmas. And I did. And then my dog ate it. And then we bought another one for the class. And it had babies in front of the class and ate the babies. So hamsters <laughs> are not my favorite pet, to say the least. Um, seasonal layers dies. Mossy Meadow, this is Old Olive, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of do it down here like this. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. All right, where did my little trash panda go, as Ted calls him? Have you guys heard that before? I'm sure he didn't make that up. And we're gonna take our cute little guy and put him here. And his little friend, the mouse, the brown mouse, or the hamster that someone dumped in the woods. <laughs> Let's hope not right there and then I've got one more leaf again from the seasonal layers dies the seasonal layered layers dies are one of my favorites because they have that um, scallop border that I love so much not the small stitched one but the bigger scallops that's a really good die set all right a little leaf back here now this one this die is another great die from this set it's a speech bubble we a long time ago had speech bubble dies um, and I loved them. So I was happy to see this one come back. Now, did I not get the thank you out? Do I have it over here? Yeah, here it is. Okay. And it looks like it maybe have a different color on it. So let me clean it. Hello, Deb from Iowa, where it's nice and cold. All right. Let's use, oh, wheels are coming off. I can't find anything. We're going to use what we have, soft suede. But I would rather use early espresso. All right, that looks fine. You like it too, Vicki? I do too. It's so cute. It's You can get a lot of use out of a speech bubble die. And we've been told that these dies are carrying over. They will be in the annual catalog, which is good. Okay, so thank you. Very nice. Now, I didn't put a bow on the first card. So I have to put a bow on this card. If you're going to give this to a guy, I think it's fine that you put a bow, but you can always leave the bow off if you don't. Um, I'm doubling it up two pieces like this and I'm just going to tie them as if I have one. 
All right, and then you just pull them until you get the right length and snip, snip. A little glue dot. This card's a little bit easier, huh? Still a lot of die cuts though, but I did them ahead of time. This one, I, this one would be easy to mass produce if you needed to make a bunch. And there you have it. So cute. Look at him. How can, how can you get mad at a little face like that? All right, what do you guys think? You like it? I think it's cute, cute, cute. All right, let me clean up my mess just a tad. And then um, we're gonna make that last card, which is the picture I posted just a little while ago, or maybe it was this morning. <laughs> it feels like it was a little while ago. Um, and we're gonna make that one, the one with the Peaceful Poppies paper. I'm just thinking real quick, I need to take these off of here. Don't you hate looking at my nasty, um, Ugh, do y'all look like that? Ugh, yuck. Still works, even if it's dirty. Just throw it in the wash. Okay, last card. The cute little squirrel. Now, squirrels are a pest as well. Boy, this stamp set, special someone, has three pesty animals, doesn't it? These guys chew holes into our attics here in Texas. We've had, At two different houses, we have had to have squirrels removed from our attic. They are a pest. One time I bought a squirrel feeder. You can get this little thing where you put like a cob, you know, corn cob on it and a little squirrel sits there and he's so cute. Well, he also destroys everything in your yard. He brings all his friends and if you have a bird feeder or anything, you can forget it. <laughs> so my squirrels don't get corn on the cob anymore. All right, so you can see I took a different, different take with this one. I wanted to use that beautiful, peaceful poppies paper. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, let's see, the first thing we need, we need to do something first because we're gonna, we need to let it dry. Right here, this background is a two and a fourth inch watercolor paper circle that I have punched and we're gonna spritz it. I have my spritzer here and I need to get my paper. Um, the spritzer I filled with alcohol and then put about 10 drops of pool party reinker, ink refill in there, okay? So then you wanna make sure you have everything out of the way because inevitably you're gonna spray your shirt and all that. Ask me how I know. And I'm gonna set it over here and let it dry. It is um, has alcohol in it so it should dry pretty fast, but I, I am always heavy handed with my <laughs> spritzing. All right, let's get all of our pieces and we're gonna stamp the little squirrel. Again, we're gonna use the Stamparatus. So let's bring that over. Stamparatus is $49. It's a wonderful stamp tool to have in your arsenal if you like to stamp. Um, it's great for a lot of things. We're doing two-step stamping today, which is perfect for, but also it's great for background stamps. It's great for like mass producing, if you're making like a hundred of a certain card, you can just, you know, like that, like, and everything's in the in the perfect spot. Um, you know, I really do need my early espresso. Oh, here it is. Or did it, does that look like soft suede or early espresso to you guys? I don't know. Well, maybe it is soft suede. Okay, I should write these things down. Stamparatus is also good um, if you have, uh, you know, if you have arthritis or any kind of difficulties with your hands. It helps um, so that you're not having to do such fine motor, motor skills. You know, it's um, a little bit easier. All right, now flip him over and let's get the solid squirrel and lay him. I'm gonna match up his eye and then make sure his tail and his feet are in the right place. There we go. All right, uh-oh, oh my gosh, Lisa. Lisa says once her brother saved a baby squirrel that fell out of their nest, then when he got mobile, they got loose in the house and the cat got them. Yeah, why do we, why do we have pets? Why do we do these things? <laughs> All right, that is um, soft suede and crumb cake. I know, I'm sure we all have stories, right? Stories of, crazy things with animals, oh, many stories. Okay, now we're gonna do this flower here. I'm gonna show you how I did this flower. 
you'll see that it has a different colored stem than the flower. Um, in the center, I'm also gonna color an epoxy dot with my blend, okay? I forgot the fan is on. I hope it's not shaking you guys too bad. All right, now I'm gonna take, this is Poppy Parade, which is the color in, in the designer series paper. Because this is a photopolymer, I can see exactly what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna ink up that flower there like that. But as you can see, I did get a little bit on the stem. So I'm gonna take my blender pen and I'm gonna pull it off and run it over there on some scratch paper until it's pretty much gone. Okay, so you can use your blender pen to remove ink off your stamps. Then I'm gonna take Old Olive or Mossy Meadow and I'm gonna color that stem. Okay, like that. And, oh, you're supposed to huff on it. I don't think it matters. And there we go. Now I'm gonna take my blender pen again, and I'm gonna get a little bit of the Poppy Parade that I have in the lid of my ink pad and color in those petals. And I'm notice I'm getting like the lighter color over here towards the back because I want them to not, I don't want it to be so dark. I want you to be able to see the lines of the stamp. Okay, all right, there we go. More die cutting, here we go. But you know what that means? No fussy cutting. Love it, because when I didn't know we were gonna have dies for this, I knew, I, th I thought to myself, well, that's gonna be a lot of fussy cutting. Stamping up new. They were like, just wait, you won't have to. Like the ladybug dies that came out. I um, had done some fussy cutting on those. And then I was like, oh, yes. All right, now I want you to see this. There's a tiny little hole down here. Line up your flower up here. And then with that hole, you'll move it until you see the stem. You'll see the stem in there. And I'm gonna put a post-it note down because I can tell that this guy's gonna just move all around. All right, there we go. All right, yeah, you know, that is, it does the, the stamps that color things in, Vicki. That is fun, isn't it? You don't have to color it, you can just stamp the solid color. You know, is there one for the flower? There is, there is. So the flower, you don't even have to color it because right here, you can just stamp it. So smart. All right, let's put it all together. Um, one thing I'm gonna do here, I mentioned this, let's see, where are my, oh, where did they go? Hmm. I had just a very small package of those. Oh, here they are. Very small amount of these happiness blooms dots. See, happiness, <laughs> I'm missing quite a few. But I'm gonna take my black, dark stamp and blend, and I'm gonna color that navy one. Let's see, could I do that with a yellow? Mm, it's not quite as black. Maybe if you let it dry and put a couple of layers on it. But with that navy, it turns it right to black. See that? All right, now I'm gonna set that aside because it does need to dry for a second. Okay, let's put this all together. Whisper White Thick Card Base. Piece of our, look at that side. Mm, that's, mm, I, this is the piece that I love both sides so much. Um, four by five and a fourth piece of designer series paper. Then this piece right here is also a piece of the paper. One and a half by four and a fourth. I'm gonna put that there, straight across. Then here is the Be Mine Stitched Heart Scalloped Border. This is not the one I was talking about that's in the seasonal layers. That one's bigger, it has big scallops. Okay, whoops, there we go. Now I'm gonna put this down here towards the bottom and I can see that I didn't cut it straight. You guys see how it kind of goes up? But that's okay. Look over here, that's super long. Let's trim that off. Because we're gonna put, we're gonna put some of this new braided burlap right there. And we'll, we can make that straight. 
And I think the best bet, ooh yeah, is gonna be your liquid glue for this, but because of the video, because of the live, I'm just using that. And then I'll have to go back and remove that adhesive that's not in the right place. All right, does that look straight? Hmm, can't tell. All right, there we go. There we go. And I'm glad you like that tip, Karen. That is a good tip. Someone taught me that a long time ago about that blender pen. And it was like, you know, like, oh, all right. It makes it easier sometimes, like when it's hard to use a, you know, to mask it, to use a post-it note to mask it. Something like that would be hard up there to do. And it's just easier to use that, that um, blender pen to remove the color. All right, this is from the Painted Labels dies. That's one of the st uh, bundles that goes with the painted poppies. And then let's see if our circle is dry. Eh, for the most part, there we go. I chose pool party because I wanted it to look like the sky behind him. And I also wanted it to coordinate with a color in that paper. All right, little squirrel. Let's get him a dimensional. And Put him here. Now let's come back. Do I have my take your pick tool? I was just using it on the other side of the room and I would like it. Let's see, is it over here? Yep, right here. Take your pick tool. Um, you want to get the putty end right here and grab that enamel dot like that and just set it down. Okay. Take your pick tool is an excellent, another excellent tool to have in your stampin' arsenal. I'm gonna put a mini dimensional back here and I'm gonna have it kind of coming behind him like that, but then I'm gonna take that stem and just kind of go over his hand. Well, maybe not. Mm, I don't know how I did that over there. Let's try that. Maybe it needs to be different over here. Let me see. I kind of like went behind his nose like that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. All right, maybe he's smelling it. There we go. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, let's see, some more linen thread. Oh, Cliffy accidentally touched the sad crime face. That is so funny you say that. Somebody does it every week, every week, so don't feel bad. And it makes me laugh. Um, my friends and I who do Facebook Live, all of us, we always, you know, like, oh, in the beginning, who did sad face? And then you realize it's probably an accident because I have done it too. You don't mean to. It's okay. Don't you worry about it. Um, all right. Again, double bow. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Nina. Thank you. Put that right there. Now, no sentiment on the front, but... We can put the sentiment on the inside. This can be thank you, this can be happy birthday. I did, um, I need, I better clean this. I did, um, I need more happy birthday cards right now than I need thank you cards. So I'm gonna do birthday. I send birthday cards to my team every month and I am running seriously low. I'm having to make more. I have none left and my daughter needed some so Oopsies, have to make more. All right, what do you guys think? So cute, so sweet. Uh oh, I better put this on my magnet before I lose it. All right, let's review what we did today. We did the little squirrel, we did the raccoon in the forest, and the raccoon holding the balloons. Three totally different versions of these cards um, using the same stamp sets. Remember that you, I'll send you these projects and make and takes for free if your order is in by Monday at midnight using the host code minimum $35. Um, you can get the PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com. It has all the measurements and products that I used as well as everything we talked about in the beginning. All right. Um, the other thing I want to remind you about, because many of you reached out and asked me about these, so if you weren't here in the beginning, let me show, let me show you. I have Facebook Friday kits, okay? I'm gonna list them tonight. I will send it out in my email. Um, so be looking for that. 
and um, you get four weeks worth of projects for $35 shipped for free. Okay, and, you, and there'll just be a mix. You don't know what you're gonna get. You just get what you get. They're like grab bags. All right, so be looking for that. Uh, make sure you're on my email list. I'll add that to the video description in just a little while um, so that you'll get that email tonight when it comes out. Probably, let's say closer to seven, all right? All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next Friday. Next Friday, we're gonna do the happy birthday card. I mean, the happy birthday stamp set. And then the weekend after that, I'm going to be at a retreat. So we'll have to we'll have to miss one week. All right, you guys. I will see you next Friday and I will see you on Instagram and Facebook probably before then, all right? Have a great weekend, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.